All right, guys, we still have roughly about one more hour on today's Pokemon stream. And uh, at this point, perhaps we should actually go back to the school and then decide if we want to go left or right. Because then they say you can either go uh, east or west from the school to determine you know, what quests you want to do. I personally have no idea what I want to do. Um, oh my god, look at that. Wait, what is down there? Dude, there's ghost Pokemon all over the place. Look. Oh, I want those. Nice. I got an HP up. Dude, I totally want one of these. Get him. Nice. Isn't this... What is it? Ghastly? Ghastly. Oh. Hit him with a ghastly attack. Oh. Bite? I don't know. I don't think tackle works. That's a physical move. I think bite might work if it's a dark move. I don't want to kill it, right? So what should I do here? What do you guys recommend? I don't want to kill it. Would bite kill it? Should I use lick? So that's ghost on ghost action. Sam says, I bought, my mom bought a new candle, lavender flavor. I love it. You should not be eating candles and enjoying the flavor. If it's lavender scent, that's pretty cool. I like lavender as well. I don't think you should be eating it. Switch out. Switch out the Pokemon so I don't kill him. Oh. Who should I switch in here then? What do you guys think? <clears throat> I have no idea what works on Ghost. Checking one lick is enough. There's more ghastly if it dies. That's a good point. All right. Oh, this is perfect. Wow. That's right. Ghost is weak to ghost. I forgot about that. That's its actual weakness is ghost. This is perfect. Now we can catch it. Ghastly. Yes, I remember Ghastly from the original Pokemon television show. And he would always say that. Ghastly. Got him. Ghastly gas times too. Ghost and poison type. It wraps its opponent in a gas-like body, slowly weakening its prey by poisoning it through its skin. Wow. All right. What's my favorite coffee bean? You know, I don't have a favorite coffee bean. However, I recently have started drinking Hawaiian-style coffee that has the Hawaiian, some Hawaiian coffee beans blended in with others. I think it tastes absolutely amazing. I love the Hawaiian blend coffees. So, and that's the thing. Like, I usually don't drink coffee for flavor. I actually enjoy the flavor of Hawaiian coffee. So, there you go. Ghastly Haunter Gengar. That's correct. That's right. That's the evolutionary tree. So, let's start heading back towards the school. Which is where? I actually don't know where I am. Well, that's not good. I'm lost. What's funny is when you start writing your, your legendary here, it pretty much the whole game looks different, right? You're basically doing it from a different perspective. Petcha Berry. There's another TM. Protect. This is where we started. That's the beach where we started, right? Abra. Oh, yeah, I remember Ab Abra, Kadabra, and Alakazam. I remember those. That was one of the best psychic Pokemon in Gen 1. The only way to evolve Haunter is by trading. They're still doing that, huh? They still have that? They haven't changed that? Sent back towards the school. Having all these items. A cherry berry. Cherry berry. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I don't have this. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Look at this thing. A deer, deerling? It's a deer Pokemon. Deerling. Oh, I'm asleep. Oh, come on. Why am I asleep? How embarrassing. My dog is asleep. I'm still embarrassed. Sand attack. 
accuracy has fallen. Deerling is from Unova. It evolves into Sawsbuck. This is there. Is he ever going to wake up? Finally! It avoided the attack. Try lit. It avoided the attack. No, it doesn't affect it. It's immune to ghost type. Why? What is so special about this uh, deer? Now it's flinched. Good. Oh my god! This is ridiculous. Oh my god! Normal types are immune to ghost? Oh. Forget this. This is ridiculous, man. Let's get, uh... Here, let's get Night Eye in. Pink Deerling is spring form, summer is green, autumn orange, and winter brown, says Derek. I did get outclassed by a baby deer. I absolutely did. I got slapped around. Luckily for me, it's rock blast time, right? Two to five times. Yeah, that's really good. I'm going to end up killing it. Watch. Catch it. Good. Get that deerling. Bambi. We caught Bambi. Yes. There you go. Who did I pick for Pokemon Red? I didn't play Pokemon Red. I played Pokemon Blue. Alright. We got a deerling. Normal and grass type. Deerling have different scents depending on the season. In early spring, the Pokemon give off a delicate, sweet, and calming scent. So, by the way, guys, we now have a ton of Pokemon available for naming um, in this playthrough. Like, we caught a ton, right, that, that uh, are all eligible, if you guys are interested. Let's actually change our order now. Let's get Night Eye up front. Now Night Eye has multiple rock moves. Let's heal up. Yes, my water starter has a Pompadour hairdo. <laughs> That's funny. Pompadour. Oh. <laughs> I keep talking like that, like Arvin. Oh. Pompadour. Okay. Did you know you can use the B button to crouch? I was aware of that, yes. Oh. So here's the initial town again. We're like level, what, 11, 12, 13. We're getting to the point where maybe we could actually catch those higher level Pokemon that are up there, remember? We got up there by accident, we teleported. They were like level 20s. Maybe we could catch them now. There's something called stab. Same time attack bonus. If a Pokemon uses an attack of the same type as the Pokemon, it does 50% more damage. Someone mentioned that earlier. Yes, yeah, someone did tell me about that earlier today. But thank you for the reminder. So here, this is where it was right here. Oh no! Oh! What is that? Is that one? That's one of the new ones. Let's see if we can catch it. It's probably high level. It is, uh, what's it called? Toxel. Oh boy. Well, let's see what happens here. Probably gonna get messed up. I 
did like nothing. Not effective. Here we go. It avoided it. Oh, come on. Critical hit. Two hits. Only two hits. It really likes flail. One. A lot of trees have a boon sweet. It's bounce sweet, is that what it said? I say boon sweet. It sounds French. Boon sweet. Nuzzle. Oh no, that hurt. Oh no. Try Elon Musk. Toxel from Sword and Shield. It's super effective. Okay, let's try Israel. Yes, we're going to do a story objective. We were on the way. I got distracted. I can do nuzzle back. That did pretty good damage. Baxter, you're up! <laughs> oh, Aqua Jet? Let's try Aqua Jet. Whoa, that did good! Should we try to catch it? Cheerful look. Alright, now we're gonna try to catch it. I'm gonna use a better ball, too. Let's use the great ball. Get it. No, we cannot get it. No. Ultra Ball, it is. Got it. No! No! Finally, we did it. We did it. 
<laughs> what an ordeal. Yes. 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 Holy macaroni. Electric and poison baby Pokemon. It has no problem drinking dirty water. An organ inside Toxel's body filters water into a poisonous liquid that is harmless to Toxel. Let's not name it. I'm sure someone might want it. This is the most overpowered Pokemon I have. It's level 20. The other Pokemon are level 13. So we caught an incredibly high level Pokemon that we're not supposed to have yet. All right. We weren't supposed to have it yet, but we got it. That's what it's all about. Sam, you are welcome. Thank me for streaming. You are welcome. All right. Holy moly. We have to get to a Poke Center right away. I don't care about any Pokemon. We have to heal right now. Holy macaroni. Derek says when he kicked out of the Pokeball, it was like kicking out at 3.999. You mean 2.999, Derek. Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty ridiculous. I don't want to talk to the technical machine. Please rest all my Pokemon. They got spanked around. Oh. BITW Awesome says it probably won't obey unless you get gym badges. I see. Oh, I see. Derek says the Pokeball shakes three times. That's why he's counting at like a 3.9. I get it. That was actually more insightful than I thought there, Derek. <laughs> All right. We got a high-level Pokemon we're not supposed to have. I think we should advance the story now, considering we've been running around randomly catching Pokemon for like two and a half hours. Well, actually, it's more like one hour because the story at the school took a long time. All right. Let's do it. Let's go to the school and figure out which way we want to go. Wait. Do I have that one? I have these. Okay. Burnt Zapato has done a super chat saying, I'm on the fence about buying the game. So far in the playthrough... In your, oh, so far in your playthrough, should I wait for a patch or buy it now? There won't be a patch. This is a Nintendo game. There will be no patches. This is as if this is a game from the 1990s. It will never be improved. So, either deal with the fact that the game runs this poorly or don't buy it. Seriously. And I mean that too. Like, I really don't feel they're going to improve it at all. So... Do you like Pokemon? If you do, you'll probably like the game, despite the fact that it runs like shit. If you haven't noticed, it hasn't really negatively affected the playthrough outside of basically cringing. I think someone on Twitter said it best. They said, you know, if you take a look at the bad things about the game, they're just funny. They're not, okay, the game sucks and is a joke and can't be played. The game can easily be played and enjoyed, but it's just the fact that um, it runs poorly. So kind of laugh at the bad stuff in the game and still enjoy it as opposed to a game that's so broken that it's unplayable to, it's a piece of shit like I'll give you an example Lords of the Fallen you remember that game at launch that game was a piece of dog shit at launch it ran so poorly it had so many bugs and issues that you didn't want to play this it, the bugs are funny right so it's up to you if you like Pokemon I say give it a shot yes Derek we have had two very well supported streams so far of Pokemon I'm happy that people are liking the playthrough and Wanting to name the Pokemon. Today we only named a few though, right? We named Hortentins, Elon Musk, and Nighteye. We named three Pokemon today. We'll see if this continues on. You know, what's going to happen eventually is people aren't going to be as excited to name the Pokemon. But we've got a ton to name, so. <clears throat> okay. Hey, hey, it's me, Nemona. We should call and catch each other. We should call and catch each other up on how things are going from now on. You decided to set out heading west from the school, right, DSP? Starting from there, you'll be pretty close to Portondo. That's where you will find the Bug-type gym. You can go take on the gym leader if you want. I'm sure you can beat her, DSP. Good luck. I'll call you soon. All right. Let's do it. Ow. Punch my mic again. Kagome says, I'm glad I don't want want to switch. You don't want a switch like this console? Why is there a table here? What the hell? What is he doing? Enjoy picnicking. Hello, Eevee. How cute. 
My poor bag is full of bursting with ingredients. Let me share some. Ah, oh, she gave me a bunch of food ingredients. How nice. Sandwiches are best when you can eat them outside. Try making some of the stuff I gave you. Since we're here, want to have a picnic? Should we have a picnic? It's our first picnic of the game. You and your Pokemon look like you're all full of energy. Come again anytime. We can catch some Pokemons. Sneak up. It's the sheepy, sheepy Pokemon. Look. Sheepy, sheepy. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Oh! That sheep's like, why'd you hit me in the ass? What's it called? It's called Mareep. Okay. I have absolutely no idea what's affected against this thing. Let's try rock throw. And we caught it off guard. Nice. Whoa, it avoided the rock throw. Oh, come on. Let's try rock blast. Nice, a triple toss. Triple toss. Let's try it. See if we can catch it right away. We got it. Marie. Marie. They're cute. Cute little sheepy Pokemon. All right, level up, everyone. Oh, we got Okay, Magikarp leveled up. Horn Tints. Elect it's electric? I didn't even know that. It's an electric sheep. If static electricity builds up in its body, its fleece will double in volume. Touching it will shock you. Don't pet it. Don't pet that sheep. Derek says it evolves into a Fluffy and an Amphoros. Have I ever seen this thing before? I don't think I've ever seen this one before. Nope, no nickname because, again, give people the chance to nickname it if they would like. Okay. It evolves pretty fast, 15 and 30. Which Rotom do I like? Oh, I don't know. I don't know the difference between the Rotoms. Oh, hold on. Oh, no, we got that guy already. Yep, we got them. Let's look for new Pokemon. Rowl. Oh, what's that? That's a new bird. It's a new bird, but they're all staring at me. Yeah, they all see me. I'm not going to be able to sneak up on them. Nope, they're alerted, so. Take it on. Face first. What do we got here? Starly. Not very effective. Quick attack. Rock Blast. Boosh. Oh my goodness. Whoa. That is giant damage I was not effect expecting. At least we, you know, we have the chance to fight, get to these others. Good lord. That was like we bowled it over. Okay, let's try a different one. Flail. Okay. Gotta whittle it down a little bit. Oh, a tip came in. I will read out that tip in a moment. First, let's get this starly. Oh, excuse me. Ouch. Oh, one more hit, and then we can catch this thing. Yeah, maybe we can catch it now. Let's just try. I probably should have bought more Pokeballs. So hopefully there's a Poke Center out here. Starly turns into Staravia and then Star Staraptor. Wow. We got it. Cool. Starly. So let's see what this tip is. Because there might be someone who wants to name something. Oh! Elon Musk has leveled up. He wants to learn wing attack. Should we, should we uh, learn it? Let's see. So, wing attack is a 60 damage move with 100% accuracy. It's crazy good. It's way better than peck. It's, like, significantly better than peck. Oh, uh, let's get rid of... Copycat kind of sucks, though. Right? Copycat kind of sucks. Let's get rid of copycat. I don't like copycat. Okay, so we have a twenty-five dollar tip, and it says, "Name your next fire type Pokemon that looks like a little Mega Man. Name it Shoto." Huh? 
Name your next fire-type Pokemon that looks like a Mega Man. Name it Shoto. Is there a fire-type Pokemon that looks like Mega Man? I, I'm not aware of that. <laughs> I don't have a fire type currently. If you just like me to name my next fire type Mega Man, or excuse me, Shoto, we can do that. But is there one that looks like Mega Man? Do you know the name of it? Because I don't know anything about this. Thank you for the tip, by the way. But I don't know anything about that Pokemon. There's actually a Mega Man Pokemon in the game? Really? It's called Armor Rouge. Armor Rouge and Server Ledge, they're called it's called. Oh. You'll know when you see it. Alright, he this person wants us to name it Shoto. Okay. So you guys know way more than me. So remember guys, when I get that, when I get that Pokemon, whatever it is, we need to name it Shoto. Thanks to this tip. So thank you very much to whoever that was. I appreciate that. Okay. Elon Musk learns wing attack. Rashawn was... Oh, that was from you? Thank you, Rashawn. I appreciate that. Again, if you don't put your name in the tip, I don't know it's from you. Okay? Thank you, Rashawn. Just remind me when we get it, because I don't know when we're going to get it. Remind me, and I'll definitely name it Shoto. All right. Starly is normal and flying tight. They flock around mountains and fields, chasing after bug Pokemon. Their singing is noisy and annoying. Well, that's kind of messed up. Noisy and annoying. Why are you insulting it? By the way, I will say this. This game... I mean, it's, it's just a Nintendo game, obviously, but it looks really good on my new TV. Like, it's simple simple graphics, but the colors look really, really good on this sunny TV. So I'm really enjoying this. And the music in this game is so good. Starly. Okay. Ether. Down there. Psyducks. Don't need those. So you can actually drop down there? Oh, wow. You can drop down to under the bridge. Oh, I don't need any of these guys. We have them. Can I jump backwards up this cliff? Uh, it's too steep. It sucks because there's a TM right there, but it's just too steep. try here. No, see, he won't land. If he won't land, then you can't go up. Whoa! Invisible! Alright. Can't do that. I tried. Ooh! Oh, it's this fucking... It's the same one I have. Er, I'm so careless. Yes, you are. You're talking to me. I can't believe I forgot to buy ingredients. Maybe a rumble will calm my rumbling tummy. There you go. Noah the student. Scatterbug. Alright. So, I received a $3 tip from Yellow Snow. So, when you lived in Connecticut, what was the most amount of snow you saw? I wish we had like six feet like buffalo. Um, if I remember correctly, the most snow we ever had was around three feet, and that was bad, because in Connecticut, usually when it snows, it doesn't just snow once, you get snow, 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 so we ended up getting like three feet, and then like another foot, and then another foot, in subsequent weeks and days, and they had nowhere to put it, so they actually had to have trucks push the snow into rivers, there was nowhere else for it to go. <laughs> oh, look. Super effective rock black. How dare you hit me with stun score? I may be paralyzed. Not good. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. No, don't do that. Don't get straight shot on me. Oh. My speed is harshly falling. I still can't move. not very effective. It's a real attack. Rock Blast! No! It avoided the attack! Don't do that. No! No! Oh, no.
That's more like it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Scatterbug painting. Drifloon? I'll keep it in. I don't know what Drifloon is. The balloon. Mixing energies. What are my three all-time favorite box legendaries? I don't know what that means. What's a box legendary? I've never heard of it before. Say goodbye, Drifloon. Derek, just speaking of three feet of snow, one of your videos on your vlogging channel was called Winter Storm Nemo Aftermath Three Feet of Snow. I told you. That was probably the one I'm thinking of. All right, level up. No, no one leveled up, but we got a lot of experience. Er, I'm so disappointed. Pokemon on the front of the box? Oh. I don't even know, have I even played three Pokemon games with front of the box legendaries? I don't even know. <laughs> I'm not into it that much to even know. I don't know how much I've ever liked the legendaries, honestly. I don't even that... that they're that big of a deal. Wow. These are all Pokemon we already have. Is that gold spot? That's one of the ones that has the Tetra Sizzle ability on it, right? Tetra Schnizzle. A Tetra Schnizzle Pokemon. Oh no, I don't want to fight it. Oh. What if I accident? You can't even use legendaries when they're important. I mean, it's true. Usually you can't use a legendary until like the end of the game. <laughs> Very true. Three hits. Derek says it was October 29, 2011. When we had that crazy snowstorm. Huh. That's when I played Saw the video game for Halloween. So I was trapped at home. Interesting. Tetristalization is a game changer for competitive Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm going to learn a new move. Block. What's block? Locks the targets away with arms for wide to prevent the target from fleeing? That's stupid. Why would I ever want that? No. No! I walked right into a, a, a Pokemon by accident, man. I hate when I do this. Great. Who's on the guitar? I do a Pokemon Showdown stream? I'm not sure what that means. What's a Pokemon Showdown stream? Bass guitar? It could be a bass guitar. Okay. Got it, finally. The accidental battle. Baxter leveled up. Oh, he's paralyzed, man. It sucks. I don't want him to be paralyzed. Nothing new down there. Half the time after a Pokemon battle, I walk into an enemy by accident because it doesn't render right, right? It just pops in out of nowhere. I think I have a Paralyzed Heal, but I kind of don't want to waste it. Save it for when it's like essential. Right now, it's not a big deal. Oh! Look at this. We got multiple new Pokemon to catch here. Look at what the hell is that? A Knockly? 
What the hell is a Knockly? I have no idea. Apparently, we're both rock types. be a salt deposit. Rock salt. Oh. There you go. Pokedex updated. The rock salt Pokemon. It was born in a layer of rock salt deep under the earth. The species is particularly treasured in the old days and they would share precious salt. Oh, is this a new one? I wonder if this is new. I don't know, I don't know if I've ever seen it before. Knockly. All right, now we're going to get this other one that's sitting right next to it. Now, if this one, this one's fighting type, right? Wait, where did it go? It disappeared. Oh, man, where did it go? I wanted the other one that was standing right next to it, but it's vanished. So I'm pretty sure it was a fighting type, but I should not fight fighting with rock. There it is. It's over there. Rock, it can, it can break rocks, right? So, I should switch this up. What's good against fighting? Fighting against fighting? Mastiff. We don't have this yet. Mastiff? Flying would work? Ah, oh, crap. Oh, I have a flying. This is flying. What kind of... What is this? Effective, effective, double... Super effective. I might kill it, though, right? No, I don't think so. We should be able to catch it now. Mastiff. Is based on the chemical formula for sodium, which is sodium chloride NaCl, which is salt. I see. So you're talking about the periodic table of elements. I see. Yeah, I know. I know, Derek. It's just flamingo instead of flamingo. It's pretty much, I'm pretty lazy, honestly. All right. Nice. Level up. It looks like Costignoli will be learning baby doll eyes. I don't know if we want that. Let's look. Let's see. Stare at the target with baby doll eyes, lowers the target's attack stat, and it always goes first. Yeah, you know what? I'll do that instead of tail whip. There you go. Now let's catch this guy. Mastiff, dark type. Always scowls in an attempt to make opponents make take it seriously. Even crying children burst into laughter when they see Mastiff's face. Wow, that's messed up. Why? Why would you burst into laughter? Right? That's messed up. El Grey Zoro says the fl Flamigo is based off of, like, your garden variety statue and not on a real Flamingo. The thing is, a real Flamingo acts like this. Like, it has the, the bent leg and everything. So, it's actually quite close. All right. Makuhito? Makuhito? Heck it. Hopefully I don't kill it with one hit. I killed it with one hit. Shit! Why the hell did it have to be? Why in the holy hell did it have to be a critical hit? Derek says that thing evolves into Hariyama. I caught that in Pokemon Moon. I called it Samoa Joe. There you go. No critical hits this time. Come on. Ugh. 
Uh, I got Maku Kida sweat. Oh no, that's disgusting. You collected its sweat. Off of its fat, globulous body, you collected pools of its sweat and put it into a glass to drink later. Come on. Look at this little, oh my god, so this is another three-year-old, remember? It's another three-year-old child who's a Pokemon trainer, apparently. I'm out getting my bug Pokemon a lot of experience. Youngster Roy. Cricketon. Look at that thing. Let's eat it. Time to eat it with my wing attack. Yummy! Super effective flying type birds eat bugs. Of course they do. And that was easy as hell. Oh, I bet I could have beat you if I had evolved my Pokemon. No. Still would have not have won. You still stink. You're two years old. Go home and suck a lollipop and stop trying to train Pokemon. You're not very good at it. Alright. Let's try not to kill this thing. Faked me out. Now I flinch and I can't move. I can't stop killing it. I kill it every time, no matter what attack I use, it dies. Oh my god. Magikarp leveled up. Seriously, I have to change my Pokemon around. Here. Good lord. Get my palmy out instead. Alright. Nuzzle him. Alright. He's paralyzed now. Good. I can catch him. One more hit, then I can catch it. Don't hit me with sand. That's rude. Ha! They got failed. He avoided my quick attack. Come on. Now we'll catch it. Makuhita. All right, here we go. Catch that Makuhita. Boy! Nice. We got it. Very good. Makuhita. Level up. I got more delicious Makuhita sweat. I can't wait to drink it. Willow says, I'll see you later tonight. All right, Willow. See you later. It grows stronger by enduring harsh training. It is a gutsy Pokemon that can withstand any attack. Really? Looks like it could eat any meal, too. <laughs> it's got, a, a, like, a, a knot on its head. It looks like a sack, right? Like a, sa a tied sack with two fists. Weird. All right, let's look for other new Pokemon that I don't have yet. We have all these guys here. A Poke Center out there I can head toward. I don't know what that is. It's like a tower. See that? There's a tower out there. Ash pear berry. We got all those. Wow, it's getting real choppy now. Ooh, 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 ooh. What is that? We don't have that. Cricketot, and there's another one over there in the field we don't have either. It's like yellow. 
Uh, see, I don't want to kill it. I think this is good because it's guaranteed to paralyze. So it should allow me to catch them every time, right? Yeah, this is good. This is pretty good for catching Pokemon. Nuzzle. Get it. Give me that quick attack. Oh! Yeah! Cricketot! Level up for our Flamigo. Its legs are short. Whenever it stumbles, its stiff antennae clack with a xylophone-like sound. Wow. It's weird. You can check out your Pokedex for extra rewards in Ogre Zoro, can you? Hold on, there was another one over here I wanted. Yeah, look, what is that one? What is that thing? Let's get it. It's like a lemon. Smoliv? Oh, it's an olive. Smoliv, get it? Olive, smoliv. Get that smoliv. Not very effective, but it's paralyzed. All right, Derek. I will see you, when will I see you? Will I see you Thursday for Ask the King? Or will I see you Friday for the Adpocalypse event? What will I see you for? Small live. Here we go. Catch that small live. Yes. Smoliv. I wonder if it's new. I never saw this one before. Smoliv. Alright. Night Eye leveled up. Our right, Bonsly. Grass and normal type. Olive Pokemon. It's new. Cool. I like this. A little olive. It protects itself from enemies by emitting oil from the fruit on its head. This oil is bitter and astringent enough to make someone flinch. They'll see you for Ask the King. Sounds good, man. Have a good night, Derek. We have so many Pokemon people can name now. It's insane. So, guys, here's the deal. If you're watching live or if you're watching this on demand, you want to name one of these Pokemon I caught and they're not named. Um, if you can be on the live stream, I would appreciate it if you could tip during the next Pokemon live stream, which would be this coming Sunday. Um, if you can't be on a live stream, yes, you can. Uh, yes, you can tip me when I'm offline. But just remember, it's first come, first serve. So, if someone tips me in between these streams, you don't know. And they requested something first. They're going to get it before you. I'm going to do it on a first come, first serve basis. You are taking a chance if you're requesting something between the streams, just so you know. Okay? All right. Oh, really? Galactic Retail says, no, it's not new. It was the starter for red and blue. What? No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. That was, um, what do you call it? Um, it was, what was the name? It was the Vine one, the Vine Pokemon. Bulbasaur, yes, Bulbasaur. Galactic Reptile, you can't fool me. I'm not that stupid. Come on. I'm pretty stupid, but I'm not that stupid. Bulba. Bulbasaur. Bulba. Rawr. Alright. Now we're heading back to where we came by accident. The potion. Roar. Two paralyzed heals. By the way, guys, we're almost out of time. I'll probably play for like five more minutes before we adjourn, but it's been a great stream, right? Now that we have the mount and we can travel around much faster, it's kind of neat and fun. We're catching awesome Pokemon, all right? We're doing a, having a good time, man. Stored power. Let's see if we can catch this one. Oh, it's level 17. Uh, Maybe not. Maybe not. I also I don't need a Diglett. It sucks because if it was one I didn't have, I would go for it. But I don't need a Diglett. The car up here. There's Poker Centers all around me. There's Poker Center up here on the hill, and there's a Poker Center down there. Look. There's a million Poker Centers. What's going on? 
Why are there so many? There's a car. Soda pop. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm stuck! Oh. The game recognized this and unstuck me after a few seconds. Phew. I thought I was screwed for a second there. I thought I was pretty boned, but I guess they were smarter than that. Ah, there's the school, right? But here's a like side area we didn't go to. See, like, the game itself has good scope. It just runs like shit. If the game didn't run terribly, it wouldn't be half bad. You know what I mean? It's a pretty good game with all the gameplay elements. It just it sucks that the game runs so poorly. So what is this thing? Tower. We're going up. I don't know what the hell we're going to find up here. Maybe this is where we should save, actually. It might make sense to save in a, in a spot like this. A safe spot. Oh, a TM. Electro ball. Hurl an electric orb. The faster the user is. I couldn't read the rest of it. It's probably really good for electric types. Electro ball. Rashawn says, imagine if this was on a PlayStation console. It had Sonic graphics like Sonic Frontier. I mean, even Sonic Frontier has graphical issues. Oh, what's this? What the hell? Oh, it's a Pokemon. Oh, cool. Give me ghoul. It's the Gimme Ghoul. You must paralyze the Gimme Ghoul. Then you catch the Gimme Ghoul. I want the Gimme Ghoul. Gimme the Gimme 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 Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul. Gimme that Ghoul. Gimme 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 a Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul. Gimme Ghoul. Come on. <laughs> it's basically like a mimic, right? It's a mimic from freaking Dark Souls. Oh, I'm catching this gimme ghoul now. You're mine. The gimme ghoul is mine. Catch that mimic. Oh, yes. Give it to me. Gimme, gimme, gimme ghoul. Gimme ghoul. Yes. Good work, Israel. Good work. Ghost type, ghost coin chest Pokemon. This Pokemon was born inside a treasure chest 1,500 years ago. It sucks the life force out of any scoundrels who try to steal its treasure. Wow. Phil named him Shoto? All right, Rashawn wants me to name him Shoto. We could do that then for Rashawn. All right, let's do it. Rashawn, Shoto. How do I go back? All right, Shoto. By the way, no gender, because it's a ghost, right? Ghosts don't have gender. To evolve it, you need 1,000 coins that I've been collecting. The devolution... This devolution is hilarious. Oh, yeah? So, should I not keep it in the party, then, since it can't evolve without the coins, right? Because currently, casting Yoli already has a ghost type. So, maybe we'll just put him in the box for now. Once Horntense evolves, that's going to be pretty cool. All right, Shoto, to the boxes for now, but maybe we'll play with it next time. Cool, that was a good ending. See you later, Jade. That was a cool ending to catch in the Gimme Ghoul. Oh, it gave us 50 coins. Sweet. That's pretty cool. All right, guys, let's save up here. This is definitely a good place to save. It gives a good view of everything around you. Look out there. Look at that. There's like a big, like a big mountain. Up there, there's something glowing in the mountains. I don't know what it is. Look at how bad the textures are. Oh, my God. Interesting stuff all around us. There's another tower over there. Maybe there's a gimme ghoul on every one of these towers, so you always get 50 coins by beating them. Maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, let's save up. Wait, you guys want me to do Pokedex rewards? Uh, How do I do that here? How do I do this? I don't know. How do I do this?
Yes, you keep catching them and then you can evolve them. I see. I don't know how to do this. The, the minus buttons? This is wrong. Minus button. Okay. Now what? X? Your Pokedex contains 10 volumes. You get 3 bags of Stardust. Your Pokedex contains 20 volumes. You get 10 Great Balls. Your Pokedex contains 30 volumes. You get Thunderstone. Okay. Thunderstone is an item you want to give to certain electric Pokemon so they evolve, right? I think so. <clears throat> Can you trade me some Pokemon on stream? Currently, no. Perhaps later on in the playthrough. I like to play it naturally to start. So that way I don't have an unfair advantage, but maybe later on we will do that. We got some good Great Balls. That's good. Great Balls of Fire. Alright, let's save. And that is it today for Pokemon Scarlet. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a good time. We caught a ton of Pokemon. We had big story advancement. We actually got that really hard to catch level 20 toxic Pokemon thing that we weren't supposed to have yet. Um, right? Pretty good. And thank you all for your support of the Pokemon streams. You can see the support today was very good. Um, named a bunch of Pokemon too. Right? This is excellent. I can't wait for more. Now keep in mind, this week is a holiday week. There'll be more Pokemon this coming weekend, Sunday. So if you're wondering when the next stream is, there's a while to wait, but it is coming. Okay? Awesome. I had a great time. Thank you all. Until next time.